In this video, we will talk about model complexity, overfitting and underfitting. The concepts of overfitting and underfitting are central to machine learning, and understanding this topic is key to creating effective machine learning models. Let's start with a simple example using a 1D regression task. The details of generating the plot here are not so important right now, but you can find the code that created this dataset and figure in your working files folder. In this toy example, there is an underlying true function in blue and a noisy sample from this function in green. The x-axis here is the input feature and the y-axis the outcome we want to predict. We want to learn the true function using the k-neighbors regressor, a simple regression model that predicts the mean of the k-nearest points. If we set the number of neighbors that we consider to 2, as I did for the first panel, we get an estimate, shown in red, that captures the training data fairly well. However, it focuses too much on a particular noise in this training set and is not likely to generalize well. If we set the number of neighbors to 5, as I did in the central panel, we still capture most of the variation of the true blue function, but we get rid of much of the noise. If we set the number of neighbors to high, say 20 as in the rightmost panel, we get rid of nearly all of the noise but our model is not flexible enough to express the variation that comes from the blue function we want to learn. Going from considering few neighbors to considering many neighbors means putting more and more restrictions on the functions we can express. These restrictions protect us from focusing too much on the particularities of the training set, but adding too many restrictions will prevent us from learning the task. This is a more general theme in machine learning that is illustrated in this figure. Here, the x-axis is model complexity and the y-axis is accuracy, or how well our model performs. If we choose a very simple or restricted model, say using 20 neighbors in the example above, we don't have enough flexibility to predict well, even on the training data. This is called underfitting, because we didn't fit our model well enough to the training set. If we increase the capacity or flexibility of our model, we will be able to do better and better on our training data. However, if we make our model too flexible, it will learn about the noise and the particularities of our training dataset. And what it will learn will not generalize to new unseen data anymore. Therefore, the test set performance or generalization performance will decrease. This is called overfitting, as we fit our model too much to the training set. In the middle is a sweet spot, which will give us the best trade-off between overfitting and underfitting, and lead to the best generalization performance. This is the spot that we want to find by adjusting our hyperparameters. We will talk about what model complexity means for different classes of models and how to control it in later videos. 